Hi everyone, it's Justine here from House of Mahalo and it's time for some more playtime. Um, I am working on my recipe journals for the Teddy Treasure and Friends Facebook group. Um, I'm hosting a challenge this month which is uh, all about finishing up our unfinished projects and I've done a couple of videos on the recipe journals as part of the challenge um, and a few of you wanted to see more ephemera making and general working on the journals so I thought well I need to finish them so um, I thought I would do some stuff with you today on those. Um, if you haven't heard of the challenge before and you want to find out more about it I have done videos um, explaining all about it so I will um, link those below. Of course there's more information in the Facebook group if you would like to be a part of it. Right so what are we doing today? I have no idea. <laughs> totally kidding. I have a... I don't really have a plan. I have a kind of plan. I have I have a half plan, shall we call it. So what I want to make is some... Um, or decorate, I should say. I've already sort of made the bases. Um, I want to get some tags and journal cards for the recipe journals that I can uh, fancy up and use for um, either writing on or gluing on my favourite recipes. So what are we doing? I have got some tag bases and journal card bases already prepared, um, only because, well to be honest, I was having a play last night, um, it was one of those midnight crafting sessions and I couldn't turn the camera on because my neighbours would hate me, um, so I just got on with making the bases but I thought I would leave the decorating for us to do together. So I'll just show you kind of what I've got so far. So I've got some, uh, some journal cards and some tags. and using really a variety of different things on the front. The base of it is book pages that have come from this extraordinary, and I'm sort of, where is the camera? Here we are. Um, this extraordinary vintage recipe book. I mean, how gorgeous are those brown yellow pages? Absolutely stunning. Um, this came in one of my recent book hauls. Um, I get a supplier deliver me books, um, kind of like a lucky dip. Uh, he sends me, he sends me a, big boxes of books um, every few months with and, and basically his instructions are very simple as much variety as you can possibly can includes some music sheets and includes some uh, botanical books that's all I give him and I get some really really cool things in those halls one of which being that cookery book which I have used to um, well I'm part using to make some of my tags so it's uh, two layers of the book page and then I've used um, just strips of different things. So on this one, I've got some uh, music sheet and some yellow sort of tissue paper, which I think came wrapped around a muffin. Bizarre, I know, but you know, we use what we can. Um, this one has a music sheet, the same uh, tissue, an extra layer of, I think, white packing paper and some uh, pretty brown and white napkin. Um, and then this one has got some uh, uh, music sheet, the white packing paper and some vintage paper just there. Um, and then they kind of follow the same sort of vein really. I think the only difference is on these two. I have used uh, the back side of um, uh, Christmas wrapping paper and it had this fun sort of like, it was this craft pattern. Um, craft material I should say and on the back of it it was um, check square prints I think the idea being that you follow the lines to cut but you know uh, it was Christmas paper and I used them on these so um, that's sort of where I got to and then I've just done some stitching around the outside just to um, add a bit more decoration to them um, and today we're going to think about decorating them now be warned this video is probably going to be a lot of indecision uh, because <laughs> embellishing isn't really my forte. Um, I enjoy doing it and I love, I generally love the outcome. I'm just a little bit indecisive. So if that frustrates you, you might want to click away now. Um, otherwise, if you <laughs> hang out with me today, I'm hoping that we'll be able to uh, do something. So what I have got is I've separated out the tags into uh, baking versus um, more cooking type recipes. Um, and then I've got my images here for all cakes and sweet treat type stuff and then I've got some extras which can be used in the more cookery type ones such as this carrot. Um, I've got some labels and that is where the plans have finished. So um, 
let's just yeah let's just let's just have a bit of fun and let's just um see what we can do so to start me up warm me up today um i think i'm going to start with this tag so i'm just going to move those to one side so mainly so i don't confuse myself as well as you um <laughs> so this one um mentions carrots so i think very fitting that i would use this carrot image on it somehow and sorry if my voice seems a little bit robotic today i am in a funny mood um where i can't get my words out and i'm doing all sorts so it probably wasn't the best day to do a video but i get really impatient to talk to you so um i just thought you know what let's do something so i have my carrot which might need the the sort of top his hair cutting off i don't know why i'm referring to it as a person but we'll just go with it shall we um and I kind of want to use some labels, I think, um, just because, I mean, that's fine as it is, but it just, you know, it's, it's missing a bit, isn't it? So um, I have got some labels, I have got more, but I didn't want to be too indecisive. So um, I'm just going to go with what I, what I think, really. Um, now, I don't think they need a huge amount um, because obviously you've got the collaging in the background. Um, I got this idea from um, Roxy's weekly challenge. Um, week one of last year was um, some book page tags. Um, and I sort of, I made these last week um, using some offcuts of Edith Holden. Um, I was in a very botanical mood last week. Um, and I was using some offcuts from a project that I was doing. And because I was using sort of tissue paper and greaseproof paper and stuff like that, um, I just immediately thought of using it for these uh, these baking journals. So, um, and actually, it will show you. Um, this is a loaf tin liner. That's what I've been using. Um, and this is part of the tissue, just in case you want to look out for what to, to look for when it comes to junk journals. Well, look for anything. Anything you like. Absolutely anything. Um, now, I kind of feel like, is that enough? Maybe. Mm -hmm. I quite like that label. It's got sort of a, a, a grungy, reddy kind of colour, which goes with the carrot. <laughs> oh my goodness me. You know you've got a bizarre job when you're talking about carrots. I mean, you know, and you're not a chef, like, or, or waitress, or really anyone who deals with food. But if you're just talking about a carrot like it's alive or something... <laughs> Oh, just ignore me. Maybe just you turn off now, turn off now. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Now, I have got, um, yeah, sorry. Oh, I don't know. Weird mood, weird mood. Okay, I've got some um, words, but I don't know. I kind of like just the carrot and that label. So, yeah, I'm going to just go with it. That's a new thing for me, isn't it? Let's try this, uh, just go with it. So yes, I know, I'm going to have to ink, I'm sorry, I know it's really incredibly boring, but these things have to be done, and there's no point in me inking stuff that I don't end up using, because that just wastes my time. Um, and you know, it gives me a chance to think, it gives me a chance to natter away, I know, I'm a talkative one today. Um, but yeah, I just, I'm just in a really good mood, because, um, really because of you lot. <laughs> you know, you've been giving me some lovely feedback about the various things that I've been working on and um just the fact that you want to spend this time with me is like it's amazing I mean thank you because yeah it's um it's lovely that you want to do that and um yeah the pressure's on <laughs> showing you something you'll enjoy and that you'll get some kind of uh information from but um but no I really really enjoy it like you have no idea um, so this carrot, in case you're wondering, it was cut from a book. Um, it was cut from a strange book. It was like um, uh, one of these sort of birthday books that um, you get, where it tells you about ooh, tells you about um, I don't know your your favourite things or uh, favourite stuff from the year that you were born. So I was born in 1990. That gives you a clue to my age, doesn't it? Um, and apparently, one of the favourite foods of 1990 were organic vegetables yeah how's that there you go you learned something today you learned that organic vegetables were all the rage in the 1990s so if you don't learn anything about crafting you've learned about carrots 
and you, whilst you're whilst I'm doing this, you could always read this recipe for French carrots and carrot croquettes. Very nice. Now, on the backs um, of these tags and journal cards, um, I have done some gesso on the back, uh, white gesso. Now, I've never actually done that before for, um, you know, as a, as a writing medium. I've heard of people doing it. I've personally never done it. So um, I could write on the back of this. I think I probably need to do another layer, to be honest. Um, but I could write on it. Um, or my thinking was that I might stick recipes to the back. Um, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to use those recipe pages because um, they were very cool, very vintage, loved the colour of them. And yeah, it just bringing in some more of that foodie type stuff. So what do we think? I think that's probably good enough for now. Um, I might come back to it. So what's next? I have zero plans now. Okay. <laughs> I knew that I wanted to get the um, get that one done. Now I have got this one, so I'm going with the tallest tags first because I've got quite long images. I think it's that way up. Um, what are these? Ham and cheese toasties. Um, I should not have done this before lunch. I'm making myself hungry. Sorry if I'm making you hungry as well. So I was thinking I've got this uh, from the kit that I'm working with. It's a kit by the Journal Boat. Uh, her sweet treats kitchen kit linked below in case you would like to check it out um, and this is one of the images for some salad dressing which I thought kind of goes with sandwiches I personally don't use salad dressing in sandwiches but I know my sister does so perhaps those will go together I've got some tea bag which might bring in some colour because I, I haven't used um, brown packing paper on this one so I thought perhaps uh, try and bring in some colour what do we think? Um, and a label. Now I've got this one, which again is sort of a, a grungy, browny type of colour. Now normally I would put labels horizontally. I think I might do this one, if I haven't changed my mind, um, vertically, just because there's sort of, yeah, we're doing a lot of vertical and, or I might change my mind, let's see. Um, so I've got this pink label from Nanine Collage type, which might work. So we've got pink in the journal and pink in the pink ham, I guess. Oh, my goodness me. I just want to have fits of giggles today. I don't know why. <laughs> I feel like everything I'm saying is just like, oh, you sound ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know why. I just sound ridiculous today. Mm -hmm. Now I need to think about tag toppers. Now some of them I won't bother, maybe. Again, prone to change my mind, so I might change my mind later. Um, but I think this one I probably will, just to bring in a bit of texture, especially as the outside uh, stitching is just straight. So, right, um, let's get a move on because I've looked at the time and I'm thinking I haven't done anything and we're 10 minutes in, sorry. Uh, it's one of those videos, I'm afraid, where I don't know if I'll even get anything done because I just want to talk, 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 and, uh, <laughs> yes. I don't know, is it a giddy mood? Strange mood? Don't know what's going on, but hopefully, um, hopefully it's not annoyed you so far. Right, am I even in frame? Kind of. Okay, so I'm just popping in just uh, very basic gluing on the back for my tea bag. I kind of want it poking out. Not that much though. Oops. Could always tear it down if needs be, because that is a little bit too much. And apparently I'm in a singing mood. Caroline, you'll be happy. <laughs> you'll enjoy me for a song. What song is on your mind today? Mine, apparently, I just want to sing about food. Food, glorious food. I repeat, I'm very sorry for the mood that I'm in. I don't know, just feeling very giddy. Very giddy. Right. Don't know if I've got enough glue on that because my glue is doing its usual. It's clogging itself up. It keeps happening at the moment, but hey-ho. Right, let's get this one down. 
yeah so I'm sorry I didn't make the uh, tag bases on camera with you it's just it was a lot of the same kind of thing and as I say I was crafting very late last night um just because I felt like it um and I think for me I mean I really love the embellishment stage because I still find it a bit tricky um for you know working out what goes together and, and such like so I feel like when I see a video and it's all about just here are your tag bases how do you embellish them I just find for me those are the most um, useful types of videos so I thought potentially um, I might be able to impart some kind of wisdom for you today that would be helpful I had to snip part of my sandwich and I realized I should have uh, put this one down first Right, let's concentrate now because apparently I can't jabber away and craft at the same time. Even if I am talking absolute nonsense, um, just to make noise. So again, if you don't want a chatty video, <laughs> might want to mute me today. Um, right, let's see if we can lift this up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, I've really been enjoying working with the, the foodie images much more than I really thought I would, um, genuinely. Um, I don't know, it's just, it, I think it's because it's so different from the norm. And, you know, so in that sense, it really does feel like a bit of playtime. Um, <laughs> so thank you for joining me for my playtime. Um, and I hope you're getting some playtime in today as well. Uh, if you are, I'd love to know what you're working on. Um, if you're not working on anything, I would still like to hear from you. Um, I really, really do love it when you pop up in the comments. Um, it just, for me, it gives me a sense of who might be watching. And it puts um, a lot of, like, colour and um, sort of... Yeah, I guess it just... It reminds me that I'm not talking just to a phone. <laughs> I am, or, or food in this case, um, I am actually talking to uh, to all of you. So um, it just kind of reminds me of that, I guess, when you when I see your names and and all the rest of it. Um, so if you don't have anything to tell me, how about you tell me this? Are you a starter, mains, or dessert kind of person, or a sides? We, we must not, uh, let's not leave out the sides. Uh, if you watched my last video, you will know that I am most definitely a pudding kind of person. But I am prone to liking the odd pizza here and then. There we go. Very different and very, like, just not at all what I would normally work with. But you know what? It's fun. It's really fun. So that's those two. I will show you of them all at the end. Um because you know you might be <laughs> you might be getting something from this if not maybe you're just liking me natter away I don't know right so what have we got next um so I've got stewed pumpkin and on the back is some recipes for salad dressing and salads so I don't know if I've ever had stewed pumpkin Let's see what we've got. I've got various things. So again, this is where the indecisive comes. Now, I have got these hot dog images from a food magazine, which is not a pumpkin, but um, obviously. But we might find those interesting on a tag, or we might not. Um, I've got this sort of cinnamon hot chocolate type of thing, which kind of like on there, size-wise, it's a good size. This one's way too big. Um, what else have we got? I've got this from the kit, ice water and a teapot, um, which again, I don't mind. Let's, all right, we've narrowed it down to those two so far. I've also got a bread bin from the kit. Um, I don't know, does bread go with tea? Not really. I like the ice water though. Um, 
have a spoon. <laughs> okay, this is just one of those videos where it's just like, I'm just going to tell you everything that's on my desk and you tell me what to do. Uh, oh, how I wish that was the case <laughs> sometimes. Um, now this came from, remember, I wasn't lying, uh, carrots, organic vegetables were the favourite foods of the 1990s, same book page. Um, but I don't really want to put it on a picture of ice water and a teapot because that's a bit random. Um, I've got this fabric heart, which, oh that would be cute as a tag topper. Hmm, I'll put that to one side and I'll try and remember that one. Remind me, won't you? <laughs> heart is a good tag topper, potentially, maybe. Now, what am I actually doing? I don't know. I feel like I'm going to have to pause and just regroup for a second because I'm like, I don't even know what I'm doing now. Um, I'm just making it up. I kind of like that. The pinks are reflected. And then if it had... Let's just put that back just for a second. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm going to use it, but you never know. It's a bit of fun, isn't it? Um... Let me see, or just about to see what I'm doing. Again, it's very cold, so I'm pulling everything towards me today. Um, or we go with a cinnamon kind of drink. Mm-hmm, maybe. I think it's, with the food images, I'm loving working with them, but you know what, I'm finding it quite tricky. Not in a, like just in a, I'm not used to working with them, so I don't actually know, I don't really know, like, I know there are no rules, but when I when it comes to the botanical stuff, like, I know that a plant is going to look nice and a label is probably going to look good and make sense. But for the food images, it's tricky. But I am enjoying it, so you know, that's <laughs> that's the main thing really, isn't it? Um, now I like this label. This is actually, um, it's a label from uh, Tracy Fox's, I think it's called Fashion Swatch. Uh, it's a label kit. And um, it's for fashion, I appreciate. Um, but I liked it for the different colours and it's got sort of like fabric bits added to it and some of them had like um rusty paper clips on some of them which typically I cannot find you an example but just trust me on that um and this one actually says chalk cover something which I'm I'm sure is you know referring to fabrics but um I do like it so let's just maybe not the heart maybe not that one but I do like that now I have this wild card tag which could go either way, it could be baking or it could be cookery. Um, and I'm wondering if we can do both and how that would look. Now obviously this tag is ever so slightly taller, uh, but it will probably have a tag topper on this one. And what about a word? What do we have? Um, cook with love, bon appetit. Um, eat, drink and be merry. I know that's referring to, you know, alcohol, but tea makes me merry. <laughs> that's probably why I'm giddy. I had uh, how many cups of tea this morning? Three? Yep, that's, that's a lot of caffeine for one person. Welcome to our kitchen. Hmm. What if I put some tea bag behind the word? Yeah. So these are dry tea bags. Um, I just save them after I've done tea dyeing. Um, I'm, I'm sure lots of people do this, but just in case you've not heard of that before, might find it useful to know. Um. Now I don't, I'm not suggesting this will work, but you know, um, that's the fun about the embellishment stages. It's just, you just kind of go with it sometimes, don't you? 
No. Nope. The tea bag is not adding anything. So, what do we think to... Hmm. I like it, but I'm not in love with it, which... I'm not in love with that one either. So, what I will do is I will put them to one side and I will stare at them for just a little while um, just to, you know, maybe I'll make a decision by the end of this video. For now though, um, I'm going to go on to some of the baking type ones. Um, so, I've got, again, I've got various, various things. I absolutely adore this. Is it a raspberry pavlova? Black Forest Pavlova, something like that. And I'm hoping I can find space for it. That was a weird noise, wasn't it? Um, I think my um, my husband is doing some kind of work next door. Um, so if you did hear that, sorry. <laughs> um, uh, so I've got this, which I like. Um, now again, there are no rules. Like, do I add a label? Do I add a, do I add a word? Now, I did have some words that were baking related and I have a feeling I used a lot, didn't I? Um, hmm, did I? What did I do with those? I used some words, but I don't remember using that many. So I'm thinking, where are my words hiding? They're hiding somewhere, but we won't, we won't worry about that just yet. Secret ingredient as always love. Cute. Um, no, don't take from that pile. Um, snap my wrist. Uh, <laughs> I'm really just making it up now. Oh, goodness me. I do not know. Yeah, as I say, I've been enjoying working with the food images. But I have been, you know, a little bit flummoxed by it each time I've come to do it. Just thinking like is this gonna work like like with botanicals because I'm used to working with flowers and plants and those types of images like I just I know it's going to work like there's no question about it like it will but with this hmm it's uh it's um testing my brain waves oh that's oh hmm so what have we got here? A sort of spongy, is that a victorious? No. Bakewell sponge thing. And then something from the kit, maybe. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Help! Now this one is quite a large card, so I do feel like it needs quite a bit going on. I don't know why, you know, waving the images is not going to help just <laughs> Right, so if we move this, can you even see what I'm doing? Yes, you can. Fabulous. Right, so I'm thinking, I kind of don't, mm, hmm, let's work at one at a time. Right. <laughs> okay, we have this. Now I'm kind of thinking, now this image, I'm kind of regretting it was on a stand and I cut it off because I didn't think it needed it and I'm regretting that now because actually if that was right up the middle there with a stand coming out I would have called that essentially done apart from adding a tag topper um, as such it needs something else because I really like that I do want it but it needs something else so what does it need? Um, Two secs. I'm just going to hit pause because I have misplaced, um, oh no, they're here. Oh. Two seconds. I'm back. I just felt like I needed more images. I didn't have enough. Um, so I raided various different drawers <laughs> to find things. So I've got this uh, circular tag. Uh, it's, it's a die cut from some kind of kit. Um, you know, like a, a, a card making type kit or a scrapbooking kit. So I was thinking about potentially having that underneath the pavlova. Um, just to give it a bit of a lift off the page more than anything. 
I've got this ticket that I've cut with my machine from some scrapbook paper um, and I have got a heart cookie which uh, you saw me use on the last video I've got um, whoop, dropping them everywhere I've got lots more of these sheets to cut from uh, that's from the calendar that I had once upon a time um, so and because it says about love again I kind of want to use a heart cookie and I just felt like it was kind of missing something in the corner really um, mainly because that stand I'm I really shouldn't have cut it off because I think that would have solved a lot of my problems with this image but I really want to use it so you know I'm just kind of making it work really um, and I feel like that sort of just takes away from the fact that it's missing its stand at least in my eyes I did think about having this heart as a topper but I think with the heart cookie it's um it's maybe too many hearts and I did think about having this down here but because of the brown die cut it just kind of blended in so I think I'm going to go with something like that so remember that one because I'm going to forget by the time I stick everything down right so let's get this stuck down first yeah sorry about my hyper giddy don't know what's going on type mood um as I say I've had many cups of tea this morning so I think just yeah, just a boost of caffeine has just made me very very awake so um sorry it's probably not as relaxing as you as you're used to but um yeah occasionally I will just have moments where I just have this burst of energy or in this case caffeine um and yeah well you have a hard time shutting me up <laughs> to be quite honest with you so yeah feel free to meet me um anywho so yes I did not make many decisions uh whilst I was off camera uh, I should have done that would have been the smart thing to do but I didn't so um I'm just keeping an eye on the time because I don't want to, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but equally, you know, I do want to get these things done. But if you have to run, I understand. Um, or if you have to fast forward to the end, because all you want to see is just show me them finished. <laughs> then, you know, that's understandable too. I don't mind. I won't know. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. I still feel like it needs more of a lift, but I'm hoping that um, having these down here will will help somewhat. Um, yeah, do I have them about there? Yeah, I just felt like, you know, with the, I liked the word and I liked the pavlova, but on their own, it was just like, there was something missing. And I tried all of these labels and none of them were just, it just wasn't working. So I feel like that sort of just gives the eye, as I've said many, many, many times, I'm sure by now, it just gives the eye something else to look at. Um, and a good tip that I took from somebody, hmm, I want to say it was probably Natasha from Treasure Books, um, is she sort of talks about the eye travelling around the page. Um, so, you know, if you're doing a collage or if you're, you're working on something, start like moving your eye around and does it rest on like blank space where you just kind of think, oh, something's missing? If it does, then it probably tells you something's missing. So in my case, I felt like something was missing down here. And I'm hoping, well, it's too late now because I'm sticking them down, but I'm hoping something like this will help. Right, done it again. Let me lift my cookie. <laughs> oh. There's some words that just make you giggle, isn't there? Cookie is one of them. I think just, I don't know why. Oh. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. Or really any words will make me laugh today maybe now I'm not overly happy with it but equally I mean I, I have to get something on here so I think it was better than before just having that image so yeah I'm glad that I did it yeah I think so as I say it just gives you something else and I've been using these tickets quite a bit in little clusters like this um so I clearly like it um so yeah I do want to do a tag topper but I'm thinking I'll do some kind of like fabric or something on the top so I'm just gonna move that one over now this one um I did like this sort of layering of the cakes um I think 
just want to yeah I don't think that one needs a stand I'm happy with that um does need more I don't know what it needs though is now I'm gonna just tr just try I'm just trying stuff um I don't think it needs any more pictures like cakes and stuff um but I do feel like it needs it needs a tag topper which again for this one I'll do a fabric-y type thing but again I'm sort of looking down here and thinking can we slip something in in there uh, maybe oops. oops I'm dropping everything today my hands are freezing so yeah I'm not surprised actually it gets very cold in this craft room and my hands just start like um they just start giving up on me really um do you find that definitely happens to me I think the brown or the pink would work uh, for this one because we've got brown and pink in the pictures we've got pink stitching so I kind of think I prefer the pink mm -hmm. maybe I feel like I want this to be over a bit more kind of like a laddered I suppose um, but equally they need to be in the right place don't they so if we have this 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 hmm it's not working for me um, I feel like the label needs to be longer or bigger or I need something yeah or maybe if we try putting it in on the other side maybe that I'm not feeling that one at all I definitely think the pink one helps so I'm thinking I might do that for that one and this one whew, this one is proving tricky and um, because I need something nice and big and again we could do some layered cakes because I don't have any like large images anymore I think I've used them up um I do have that one but it's unfortunately well I mean it fits just about hmm all right let's let's run with this for a second um Again, it's always the corner, it's always the corner where I feel like it needs something down there. So we could add in, yeah, for this one. No, I prefer that one. Or we've got some um, Battenberg. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't help it. I'm just like giggly, giggly. But that one needed to be underneath, which doesn't look right. So no, no to the Battenberg. I'm just gonna have a look through these because there might be something else that I can cut out. Like not a gingerbread man. Did I have a teapot? I did on the other one, didn't I? I've already got a teapot on there. I've already got a teapot on there. Yeah, definitely cake. Okay, definitely cake. Um, yeah, it's already got a cup. Got this one. Not the right colours. I really think that's the right one. I like that. So I'm going to go with it. Do we need any words or anything? Or does it does it add anything? Not really. No. I think for that one, no words, no labels, and just um, you know, a tag topper. Card topper. So shall I get these stuck down off camera? Um and then uh we'll do the, the tag toppers together as well. So I'll be two secs. I'm back. 
Um, I, yeah, I looked at the time and I realised I really wanted to show you them finished. So I just quickly did um, some tag toppers. I didn't add toppers to all of them. So we have got the carrot um, and the sandwiches. Those are the ones that we started off with. Hopefully you can you see those. Um, and then this one, uh, I just added a little label in the corner because I did feel like it needed something. Um, originally I was going to have, um, I was going to have a cupcake on that one. Um, and I changed my mind, so I just added a little label, um, and I think that just finishes that off nicely. Uh, on this one, I am thinking about putting a, um, I would like to put this tab here, um, just to counterbalance the label. Um, I, I like to do that, um, but I need to check that it's actually going to go in the journal that way, because obviously I don't want it to be pulling <laughs> pulling a tab that, uh, that you can't get to, so... Um, or that I can't get to. So there's that one. Uh, this one um, is much the same as before. I just added this little little cup of tea. Um, and sorry, I've just added a topper uh, from the kit. So those are those. Um, this one is much the same as what you saw. Um, just move those up a bit. I just added this uh, little bit of a ruffle at the top. Um, because I'm trying to change up how I do tag and journal card toppers because I felt like I was just you know reaching for an eyelet and lace or eyelet and ribbon just over and over again so I've added this ruffle trim and you won't be able to see probably because it's only a tiny portion of it but this fabric was actually Bertie Bott's um all sorts fabric which I thought was really fun so there's that um I have got these two as well um which I just did quickly off camera um you saw me sort of trying to decide what to do with them um, and in the end um, this one uh, I went with the, um, the the pot of tea and the this was the ice water image if you remember um, now I've actually covered up where it said ice water with eat drink and be merry so you could argue now it's just a vintage type image and then I added these two um, cakes at the bottom believe it or not they fell on the pa paper just like almost pretty much just like that so I went with it um, and then I added a pink label in the back and a this one was with um, no eyelet just a ring um, a hole enforcer reinforcer sorry and some pink gingham ribbon and then this one I felt like they didn't all need toppers this one I just added the the label to so there we go not bad that is seven tags journal cards all to go in my recipe channels so i really hope you've enjoyed that again i'm so sorry i just seem incredibly scatterbrained at the moment um you know even when i'm organized i'm scatterbrained so clearly it's just who i am right now um anyway i hope that you enjoyed seeing those i hope you enjoyed watching i hope you like how they they turned out in the end um as always thanks so much for joining me and um, it's it's really really is a pleasure to have you have you join me um and uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Again, just let me know if you want to see any more food ephemera or food embellishments. Just let me know because um, there's, you know, there's still plenty for me to do, um, but I don't want to bore anyone. So, yes, there we go. Thank you. Oh, and don't forget, do let me know. Are you a starters, mains, desserts or sides type of person or drinks or, or <laughs> all the above? Uh, let me know. I'd love to know. Drop me a line in the comments. Speak to you soon. Bye bye for now.